got a battery charger. It's claimed to be 4.75 amps continuous charging. I'll put an amp meter onto it and see exactly what it does do. Switching on mains power. So what have we got for amps? We've got 2.9 amps. Now switch on the booster. 7.3 amps. I think I can build a better battery charger than that one. Here is a list of items you need to make this battery charger. A vacuum cleaner speed controller. That's what it looks like when it's been taken out of the vacuum cleaner. Alright, here are some of the other parts that I'll be using for the battery charger. And here's the amp meter. Here's the transformer. There is a heat sink and a rectifier, a bridge rectifier. The heat sink came from a CPU from a computer. Power cord. Now I don't like this control. So the only thing that I've paid for for this one is this potentiometer. It costs two dollars the electronic store and I'm replacing that with that. Got the mains voltage in, there's the voltage out, goes over to the primary of the transformer, then the secondary of the transformer goes over to the rectifier, and then over to here to the amp meter, and then to the battery. Then we have the wires here to control the voltage through the potentiometer here. Right, ready to give this homemade battery charger a test run. We have got 11.94 volts at the battery, 0 amps, switch on the mains. Let's see what this thing can do. Oh, 20 plus amps. Look at that. Better than the bought one.